This 70 year old man is likely to spend 15 years in prison together with his son for doing this. Let's digest the story and understand everything going on. All right, so this man goes by the name Kofi Amankwa and he is a Ghanaian based in Bronx in New York in the United States who practices law as an immigration attorney. So let's read the allegation that has been charged against him and then let's digest things better. As alleged, Kofi Amankwa, an immigration attorney, and his son, Kofi Amankwa Jr., sought to make a mockery of the U.S. immigration system by conspiring to defraud the United States and commit immigration fraud. Amankwa and his son allegedly exploited the Violence Against Women Act, a law that allows non-citizen victims of domestic abuse a path to lawful permanent residence status for their own financial gain by falsely claiming that their clients were victims of domestic abuse. Thanks to the dedicated, it continues like that. All right, so what's going on here is that there's several ways to get a green card or permanent residence status in the US. You could get it through marriage, your employer or the company you're working with could file for you, and there's so many other ways you could get it. One of which is the VAWA Act, which is the Violence Against Women Act. So it's a special arrangement that has been made for people that suffer domestic abuse by their children who are American citizens. So the underlining factor is that your child must be an American citizen and they must domestically abuse you. So this Mr. Mankwaman and his son and, you know, his entire legal firm operating in Bronx actually make their clients sign that they have been domestically abused. Meanwhile, they have not really been abused. And then they exploit the whole VAWA thing with the aim of getting a green card. And it looks like there has not been so many successes with this approach. Clients complain to attorneys. The situation went to the Homeland Security investigation and now things are looking really bad. So according to sources, this fraudulent act has been going on since September 2016 all the way to November 2023 where his licenses to practice law in New York was suspended. And this is how he operates. So when a client comes to see him, the first thing he makes them do is to pay $6,000 for the entire processing fee together with some administration fee, which is unnumbered. And then when this payment is done, he makes his client sign the form I-360, which is associated with the VAWA Act I previously described. Now, when they, when they sign this, usually it's very possible that these clients don't even know what they are signing. They don't know the content in there. They don't even read what it is they are signing. You see, so they put their signature to it. He also signs together with other filings and then they submit it. When they submit it, they get something called the Advanced Travel Parole Document. Now, this document allows you to take an international trip with the notion that you are applying for your green card or your green card application is still in progress. So having done that, he actually makes his clients travel outside. And that is where I can't understand why he would make his clients travel outside, knowing very well that they do not have their green card. They are still not permanent residents or anything. And I read somewhere that some of his clients were actually deported and some were denied entry into the country. That is very unfortunate. But yeah, and even in their process of applying for the green card, they are denied it anyway. So we are told that thousands of people have fallen victim to this in the Bronx area, and now his case is being investigated. Now, the maximum he's going to stay in prison, supposing that he is proven guilty, is 15 years, together with his 34-year-old son. And you can imagine a 70-year-old man who is going to spend 15 more years in prison. We are looking at about age 85, that's when he's going to come out. Anyway, this is one of the many visa fraudulent acts that have been going on. And so we should all be mindful. We want to read whatever we are putting our signatures to. And then even on the USCIS website, all updates are put there clearly. And so you'd want to read that and understand. And just in case you don't understand, I am also here. You can chance on my videos, watch and understand whatever it is you need to know and then you are good. And so that is it for today. Please do well to subscribe to this space if you have not. And I'll see you in my next video. This is 20 something. Subscribe for more.